Hey everybody, it's the day before Christmas, got some time off, using that time to uh, take care of some projects that we've been trying to get done and get started around the, the homestead. Uh, the big one, if you look right behind me, is we're starting to build the chicken coop. Give me a couple weeks and all our chickens will come home to roost, so to speak. So we're using reclaimed material from the uh, off-grid cabin that we were building for the past couple years. We've been going over after work and, and on Saturdays and Sundays whenever we can spare time and, and uh, starting to take it apart and getting the, the lumber. So I've, as you can see over here we've got a bunch of two by fours and plywood and then swing it back over here there's a whole bunch of big long two by sixes. So even though the even though the price of lumber has gone down, it's still important for us to uh, salvage this stuff and reuse it before it gets old and weather beaten. Um, some of the plywood I'm, I'm not going to be able to save all of it, but I'll be able to save enough to do this one. And I built a feed shed a couple weekends ago, so I'll go over there and let's go over there and take a look at it. So this is the new feed shed that we used to plug up that hole that was on the north end of the loafing shed. Uh, it's a five by ten. I think that side's eight foot. This foot, this side's seven foot. Uh, we used ten that was going to go on the roof of the cabin. Uh, all the material in here, except for the trim, is reclaimed from the cabin. We had to go out and, and get some trim material. And as you can tell, I'm I'm still in the middle of uh, putting the trim on it. So what this building's used for is to hold all our our feed for the the goats and sheep. And here, let me show you. So as you can see in here, we've got some, some brand new cans that we're going to use for feed. Uh, once I get the chicken coop done, there's going to be a storage area over there on the chicken coop for us to keep these some cans over there and, and some bags of feed. Uh, right now I've got 20 bags of, of uh, goat feed in here. Uh, we're looking at trying to find a, another source where we can buy, buy it in bigger, bigger lots, like 500 pounds at a time, uh, for about half the price. Uh, looks like it's going to be pretty promising. We just got to get some storage space because uh, it doesn't come in bags. It, it comes in bulk, and we have to we have to store it ourselves. You know, and, and the back of the building. You know, I I clad it with tin. See right there. So the animals animals when they get in there. Let me straighten the camera for you guys. So when the animals get in there, they, they, they can't be chewing on the wood, and uh, if they bang it, it's going to be easier to replace and cheaper to replace with the wood with the prices of wood these, these days. We got a whole bunch of this this tin like this that, that Yoda got at an auction. Uh, goats and sheep seemed to like it. We had a really bad storm, and they all piled in there and 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 were nice and dry. Uh, I got to figure out that big windstorm that we had blew this carport loafing shed about a foot that way so I had to take and, and push it back into place so I got to figure out a way to tie the two buildings together and then I got there's the actual carport kit came with some anchors so I'll go ahead and, and uh, put the put the anchors on on so it won't move you know all in all I've been pretty happy with it though it's been it's been really good we're back over where the chicken coop is now the, the plan for this, it's going to have eight foot walls and it's going to have that slanted roof like over on the feed shed. Um, I'm going to put some transom lights or transom windows along the east side so that the, to, whenever I build the part to raise the rafters up, there'll be glass in there so they'll, they'll get natural light inside the building. Uh, it's going to have windows on it. The actual chicken coop part is going to be eight foot wide by 12 foot deep. And there will be a door going out into this this far corner down here, which is actually going to be just a wire, a, a wall with wire on it instead of having having studs and everything. That way, they can come out during the day and get some fresh air and scratch on the ground. There's going to be uh, there's going to be wood chips and stuff down there for them to, to dig around in. And this end is going to be 10 by 10. And that's going to be a storage place. And then on th this side here, uh, to my right, your left, 
we're going to put pruders in. We're going to, we're going to, we've got chickens on order and turkeys on order and they're supposed to be here in March. So we, we need room to brood them whenever they get here. Cause I think, I think Yoda said she got 50 assorted chickens and something like 20 turkeys. Um, we had a hard time getting turkeys this, this last year, 2020 and, uh, they're available. So we, we got them. Uh, I don't know. We're going to, we're going to raise them. We'll, we'll probably, we'll sell them. Not probably. We will sell, sell them for, a. Thanksgiving and Christmas next year uh, to people you know I, I don't know if you've ever had just farm raised turkey but it is way better than store bought and I don't know what it is about it it just tastes better and uh, you know and I'm sure part of it is the is the fact of knowing that I raised it uh, the we didn't have any turkey last year but in 2019 we we, we had turkeys and uh, just knowing that we raised it knowing what was in it it just tasted better to be honest with you you know so that's what we're doing we got all kinds of all kinds of other little tiny projects we got to do but i'm doing this one right now because i got the time and and once i get the deck on it we can go over to the the cabin site and tear down the walls which are done those those walls over there i had to build by hand but the ones for this one are already pre-built into sections i built four by eight sections so all we have to do is take the top plate off and take them down bring them over here and slap them back together just like a, a construction set um, so that'll be easy peasy you know just doing that doing that stuff in modules makes it a lot easier for one person to do it because i can actually lift a lift a four by eight section of wall if you try to let lift a this this is 16 foot long if i were to try to lift a 16 foot section by myself it'd be a pain in the, pain in the backside be, it really would so when i was building that when i was building that shed um i did shoot some video but i couldn't get i could there was no continuity and and it was just, i just i'm not really good at doing the how-to construction type videos yet i'm working on it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take that that video and i i did little sections where i showed you little tricks to help you do stuff you know square up the building how to cut a, a, a was it a bird's beak i think i called it for the the rafters and just little tricks like that and i'm going to break those up and and they're not master craftsman thing they're not something that somebody with a lot of experience is going to find helpful but if you're new to construction or, or you're you know you're, you're trying to take it the next level and, and want to learn some tricks on how to how to do stuff the way the professionals do i think you'll like that video once i'm done with it well i got to get back to work you know what I, I want you guys to go out and live a lifetime for me all right that's that's all i'm asking you to do it's grumpy g clear Thanks, Milo.